Okay, so this is video number five of the prep series, and today I'm going to show you the second set of mobility exercises. So in video number four, we went through five different mobility exercises, and now we're going to go through another five today. So starting off, we're going to work on ankle mobility. So a lot of people, especially when they're squatting, you know, they lack that range of ankle mobility, especially women who wear high heels tend to have a, a lot worse ankle mobility than others. And um, so a simple exercise to get movement back into the ankle joint would be to something like a frame, door frame, balances of the stairs. What you're going to do is you're going to come down into a squat position. You're going to reach the hips back. So you're feeling a slight stretch on the front of the ankles here. And then you're going to drive the knees forward over the toes just to the point of where your heels are about to lift. So I'm not sitting down in. So we're going hips back, knees forward. Hips back, knees forward. And as you can see, I'm just putting movements back into the ankle joint. Okay, next one then would be um, toe mobility. So a lot of people lack uh, mobility and training within their, their feet and their toes and their ankles. And um, most people are wearing footwear, the wrong footwear, and they're wearing it for too long throughout the day. And um, try being your bare feet as much as possible, and it, it should undo a lot of problems, especially when you're talking about toes and ankles. So the first one is just a static toe stretch. You can see the toes are curled under, and we're sitting back on the heels. You know, if it's comfortable, you just let your knees slide forward until you feel more tension on the toes. You know, you can hold this for two, four, 30 second rounds, two one minute rounds, or hold it for two minutes straight. Um, the next one then is a dynamic toe stretch. So dynamic, we're going through movement. So from here, we just take the weight off the toes, use the core, stretch it out. So all we're doing is, is taking the weight off the toes, stretching out. We have to use our core, pull us back, and then use our core to stabilize us going back out. Okay, next one is a dynamic squat. So dynamic again, true movement. Feet about shoulder width apart, only slightly torn out. Try not have your feet too wide. And generally, if your feet are automatically going, that's a sign of poor ankle mobility. So try have them just slightly torn out. Hands down, as you go down, the hands are going to go out, and then as you come up, the hands come back down. So we use this to try to keep that thoracic extension. You might find that some people, when you squat, you're, you're hinging forward, so we use the hand as a good cue to keep the chest up, shoulders back. Okay, and then the last one from that then is a static squat. So this one, you want to just come down into a squat position, you know, and just try to relax into that position. You know, whatever you can hold for. You can hold for 30 seconds, 2 minutes, 5 minutes. And so the, the idea is you're just progressively doing this every day. You'll progressively get better and better into your squat. So whether you're watching TV, you know, just sitting around, reading a book, try to get into a squat position as often as possible. And you'll find that will correct a lot of problems to do with your, your ankles, your hips, and your thoracic as it is.